It's my 90 gallon. Good. Yeah! And the Jag, look at Slam just chilling there, surviving. We got everything. Here is our snakehead. See you in four hours. What up, Slayers? Guys, today we are going to be doing something very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and reveal to you the tanks that I have. We're going to be doing a little cleaning up, a little bit of maintenance, but also, Zach called me. He said he had a surprise for me, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out. But first, we're headed to the post office. Guys, there it is. United States Post Office. Oh, and also, if you guys don't really know who I am, I'm Joey Slam. This is my channel. We do some fun, crazy stuff all the time. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, we made it to the post office. We're gonna go and drop off these gift cards. Goodbye, my friends. Now with the gift cards in the mail, now to Casa de Cachama. Booyah. And we're rolling up. Yeah. I think he's working on this pond. And he's always working on that pond. Good to go. What's up, bro? What you working on? I got the you. You do? Yes, that's why I was here. After those failures the other day, I took it upon myself to stick one with my uh, recurve. Snacker! Yes! <laughs> Ceviche. Really ceviche yeah bro you want to taste no, hell no, bro. i mean it might be good it's it's real snake is like the best meat. bro this is a decent one it's not too bad so i don't feel bad like if it sucks and yeah, i throw it's it away giant's not too small you know and also i got this here's an extra one i've had a i have a couple of them but oh they get the water out that's yeah, what you're doing right now out. yeah i'm just actually cleaning it's like a vacuum it takes out see all the stuff in here Look, yeah check it out takes out all the like the algae and stuff and I just use it for that that's why this is so clean now check it out oh my god so clear and that's why you're also stepping in mud with your nice shoes yeah well <laughs> rest in peace yeah I was just I was literally just cleaning out the, uh, the pond look at everybody sick right I'm obsessed with mango I saw mango. someone put a, co a comment name it Pikachu instead or something yeah Pikachu is cool but I have a fish coming up that's gonna be Pikachu oh true this is sick, bro. And the Jag, look at Slam just chilling there, surviving. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's really all good. I'm a survivor. Dude, what an awesome gift though, bro. I need this because I have to empty out those tanks and everything. Dude, that I don't out. know what the hell is happening with those things. I have slow-mo the arrows through it. Whatever, I'm going to post that like a long time. All right, bro. Thanks, you're the man. No problem. Guys, this is absolutely lit. Now the video is completely changing. It was gonna be me showing you my tanks, taking the water out and everything with a bucket. And he came through, catch them all, always comes through. He freaking gave me that weird contraption that gets water out, which is gonna work out for me. And then also a snakehead. Like I wanted to do this snakehead ceviche thing for a while. He thought I was crazy. I feel a little crazy, but I'm gonna do that for you guys. And it's gonna be lit, booyah. All right guys, so I'm not sure if I've showed you this. I think you saw it on Zach's. It's my 90 gallon. It's 90, maybe 100, 36 inches in length, about 24 in height, and then 18 in width. I do like white tanks. I want it to be a little bit wider, but look, not bad for a startup. It's all right, so cool. This is actually chlorinated water. It's from the hose. So we're not gonna be using this water. I'm gonna empty it into my pool. Guys, let me know. It's time to change this into a pond. Yeah? No, my parents won't let that happen. <laughs> I tried once. Didn't, didn't really work out, guys. Didn't really work out. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to put the snake in the house. I'm going to get pumping, and I'm going to show you what's up with that. So I figured out how it worked. Shake the crap out of it, and it just flows. There we go. Let me just point it towards the pool, though. Yeah. There we go. Towards the pool. But yeah, it's exactly what we're doing. And it just... Just gonna drain it out. Nice. I'm gonna be getting a stand. That is gonna be lit. It might even hold two tanks. I'm not sure. It's just a rumor. It's just something that someone may have promised me that they're gonna be making for me. A stand. I don't know. But I'm like, I gotta see it to believe it kind of guy. You know, just like that chicken wing video. Like I wouldn't have ever thought those fish would eat chicken wings but regardless i'm getting a stand for this bad boy putting some monsters that are gonna be big enough to get into catch a moss pond anyone's pond depends i want to see my pits grow and thrive all over youtube and just 
for you guys to also see me raise these fish it's gonna be awesome i'm excited guys but anyhow i'm gonna continue doing this and i'm gonna show you my other thing now grandma wrong grandma for those who haven't seen it Here's the other tank where Slam used to live. If you haven't seen that video that Slam used to live here in Tora Minnows, check it out. I'm going to put the link in my description. But I miss you, buddy. I miss you. Gone, but never forgotten. Guys, anyhow, you saw him today. He's looking good. He's going to thrive and catch them all fine. I'm excited. That's the plan. That is the big idea is to raise fish to get bigger and bigger. But look, it's getting dirty. It's looking gross, guys. I turned off the filter. It is kind of stagnant. We're not looking good, guys. I'm going to get that pump. Use that to empty out this tank, just like you're seeing with this other tank that's out here. Look at it. It's already going down pretty fast. Not bad, not bad. Anyhow, we're going to do that. Clean these rocks. Move this big structure out. Give it a good scrub everywhere because our new inhabitants are coming. They're on their way. But I need that big tank ready. I got to get it cycled up to... I believe it's the nitrate cycle, nitrate cycle. I always forget the technical phrase for it, but we gotta cycle our tanks, guys, because if we don't have the good bacteria in our tanks so that our fish can thrive, fish are gonna die. They, get, they gotta die. But we're not gonna have that happen, and we're gonna get all this set up. I'm ordering the new stuff for the bigger tank, and it's gonna be a process. In the videos to come, you're gonna see that they're gonna be little snippets within my videos showing that I'm still building a tank, the process of what's going on, updates on my tanks and everything, and then the big, big video that the fish are being moved into my tank. So it's gonna be really cool, it's gonna be really exciting. It's just gonna be a process because I wanna be successful in making sure that my fish are gonna grow and be pond giants. All right guys, cool. Now we are inside, we're about to get the snakehead ceviche rolling. All right, perfect. So now we got this puppy out, he's ready to go. He's still intact, guys. Catch him while fishing came through with that snakehead. Oh man, this is gonna be lit. This is exciting. What? You don't like it? We're about to fillet this puppy up. Booyah! There it is. Filleted snakehead. Sorry, I just skipped it. It gets boring watching people fillet, bro. It just gets annoying. So anyhow, here we have our snakehead. You gotta make sure that the meat, nice and white. There is no guts. Don't forget, this is raw fish that's being cooked by lime juice, guys. Where's the lime juice? I think it's in the fridge. Oh, there it is, the real lemon. This is my go-to. This is what we're gonna be using to go ahead and get it all situated, cooked up, ready to go. So my grandma's gonna go ahead and help me out. I'm gonna give her the camera right now. I'm gonna take the skin off the fish and then show you how small our pieces have to be in order to make sure that the fish is cooked very thoroughly. Grandma? All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these fillets. Here, check it out. Come on, Grandma. Let's put it down right there. We're gonna be cutting these small pieces. This is what it's gonna look like. Small, square, nice, delicious pieces. And we're gonna dump that right here with some of the others. All right, perfect. So now we got everything. Here is our snakehead. Look at these chunks. They're all big, thick, and juicy. So we're actually gonna be patting this down, spreading it out throughout the Tupperware. You can just use any Tupperware. It's just a glad. There's nothing special. But now we're gonna add the real lemon, 100% lemon juice. You can use real lemons like that, but I didn't want to squeeze like a thousand lemons. So we're just gonna fill this up. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, Grandma. Pour it up, nice. So now we just press on it until the fish is completely submerged under the lemon juice. Look at that, that is looking good. Oh, I'm kind of, guys, I can't lie. I'm a little worried though. I've never had snakehead ceviche. I don't think anyone has. Have you had that? No. No, that's, oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I might die if I die. Catch em all has all the rights to my channel and everything I own. All right, cool, so we're gonna just do that. Oh. Make sure you don't have cuts on your hands. Ow, ow, the lemon juice is really winning. All right, Grandma, let's put this puppy in. Nice, right there. See you in four hours. Booyah. All right, guys, I'm back. Now I'm checking on our tank and look, this thing did the job. Thank you again, bro. Catch them all fishing came through. It did nothing for the pool. But anyhow, now this is empty. It's just heavy as can be. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. Give it some love. And then now we're gonna empty this bad boy. So we just pop that puppy right in there. Give it a good shake. Come to life. Come to life. There it is, look at it. We have the pump going into this cooler. When this is almost filled, I take it out. Then I use the bucket to transfer that so water doesn't get on the floor into this cooler. 
and then just continue alternating. So we're gonna empty this and then clean the rocks because the rocks looking rough. Get everything ready. Guys, it's gotta be happening. It's freaking happening. We're getting tanks up. All right guys, it's been the four hours that we went ahead and put the snake ahead in. Let's go ahead and check it out. It is, I think it's ready guys. I think it's ready, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh. It's ready. All right, there's other ingredients we went ahead and prepared at the same time. So, hold on. Let me show you. Okay, we have cilantro. All cut up and ready to go. We have garlic. And we have onion. We have green pepper. We have an orange sweet pepper and a red sweet pepper. Booyah! And the secret different ingredient that a lot of people don't put is... Oh! So we didn't add these specific ingredients to the ceviche itself, the snake ceviche, whoa, 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 to the snake ceviche because we wanted to cook the snakehead thoroughly through the lime juice. So now we're going to go ahead and pour out some of the lime juice right now, well, lemon actually. We're looking good. We're going to add salt. I'm a magician, floating salt. And we're going to add pepper. Those aren't my hands. Thank you, Pops. Oh. And now we are gonna actually usually use a spoon and everything, but I'm messy, so I'm just gonna do this. Just mix it all around, get all the juices flowing. Get it's all ready to go. Now we add the extra ingredients: cilantro, we add red pepper, and then onion, and then mango. I gotta get a spoon for all that. Wait, 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 wait go. Nice. And then now we gotta get the garlic. Go get garlic. Come on, random hand. Yes. Look at this. We got mango, onion, green pepper, red and orange, sweet pepper, onions. I said, I think I said onions, garlic. The whole nine yards. Dude, we are gonna die. Nice. Just mix that around and I'm gonna go ahead and get little bowls and we're gonna set up the plate and then rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh yeah. Serve me up, bro. Load that thing up. We're not wimping out. We're going to get a good spoonful of this thing. Okay, that's enough. Wait, stop, Joe. All right, perfect. We are ready, guys. We're going to try it. Mom, could you hold the camera? All right, perfect, Mom. Here you go. All right, nice. Just follow me to the table. Perfect. All right. This is snakehead ceviche. What's saying? It's snakehead mango ceviche. You saw the ingredients we put in the work. This is after four hours. Sometimes it says 30 minutes. I don't, I don't play with 30 minutes. 40 min uh, Four hours is a lot better for me. I think four hours is gonna be good enough. Some people do 24 and everything, but you know what? Most of our switch to beaches that we do here is usually about four hours, so. You ready for this thing, dude? Oh yeah. You ready? Oh yeah. Are you ready? I am ready. Is he ready? Okay, he's ready. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, you lose. Rock, paper, scissors, I know you're going, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Guys, I love you. I should do two. Okay, so I need salt, but I'm still here. What do you think? Very good. It's good. We need salt, but the mango really helps, just in case, because the lime it could be really, really tart. But it really helps. I think. I'm not gonna lie, guys. You guys need to try snake heads with each It's not that bad. But I appreciate you watching this episode today. We did a lot of tank stuff. We saw Zach. I delivered those gift cards. They're on their way, guys. You guys know who the winners are. Again, congrats to those. And yeah, booyah.